DHG here playing Call of Duty Classic, the first Call of Duty game that eventually got ported to uh, the 316 PS3. It started out alright and it just gets worse as it goes on. If you like my content or enjoy watching me suffer, do subscribe and if you don't like notifications, turn them off. The guards. I understand the Soviet guards were like elite troops. Warsaw. Oh yeah, they love both the Nazi and the Soviet occupations. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, that was their experience. Yeah, that's a door. Blast this door open. I hear that our generals are racing to Berlin. Da, for the women and the French champagne. The general who gets to Berlin last will be sent for re-education. We'll be re-educated with them if the NKVD hears us. Feindliche Granate! Oh. Both sides, okay. Oh, smacked them in the head. There were some weird looking grenades the Russians had. As long as they work, who cares? Grenades in this game have a large blast radius. I pretty much love any game that lets me carry a ton of grenades, but everything else about this game just kind of sucks the fun out of it. All the way back is it like the checkpoints. I'm starting to realize that for this game to succeed and do as well as it did back when it came out in, I don't know, 2003, 2004, somewhere around there, the bar was pretty low. I mean, there were a lot of World War II shooters at that time, and Medal of Honor was the best of them. And this one sort of, uh, dethroned it. Yeah. It just makes me realize how bad those games were back then. Blast this door open. I heard that our generals are racing to Berlin. Yes, yeah, for the, the women and the French champagne. 
general who gets to Berlin last will be sent for re-education. We'll be re-educated with them if the NKT. Move! I don't know where that German is. I don't care. Take cover! Why couldn't one of you shit a health kit? He should be dead. Pistol whip you, bitch, with a German gun. Stay low. Couldn't you have just died so I could take your ammo? Move in. Oh, tiger tank. Two tiger tanks. Three tiger tanks. And an MG42 that kills you in a split second. No, that wasn't even an MG42, it was a freaking MP40. Nice. Grenades for everybody. Well, that one went to a uh, bad spot. Finally, some PPSH ammo. I threw a lot of grenades. There might be some more laying around. Yep, there we go. You guys are good for something. Ammo when you die. In the last video, I had to defend a building. They did nothing but getting in the way. I'm surprised this gun didn't get any kind of weird nickname. Like Stalin's fire hose or anything. It did get called the burp gun. I suppose that's weird enough. They're gonna come pouring through that door. Yep. I could have sworn they were going to pop out through the door. One of the American Studebakers, uh, maybe it's got through Lend Lease.
I think that's what they mounted all their Katusha rockets on, was those Studebakers. But every now and then you'll kill one of them. Friendly fire will not be tolerated. A bad AI is. Oh, I thought there'd be some PPSH ammo. There we go. How do I get up there? There we go. Yes. Yeah. Give me your ammo. You worthless piece of shit. Where's Waldo? That Omar Bradley quote was uh, pretty on the spot. Enzo Pals. Take that, MG42. And it didn't kill him. Of course it didn't. coming I'll keep firing these damn things did the tiger blow up I guess not
Okay, there's the tiger. The earlier in the game, I destroyed these suckers with one shot. What happened to my PPSH? They're like, well, I hope you didn't like it. Oh, I see it on the floor there. What? Damn stupid auto aim? Aim assist, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Guess I gotta go through here. Get some more Luger ammo. They're just going to keep infinitely spawning in here. I hope this game is painful. You know, the bad thing about it is, I was going to do a How Bad Is It on Call of Duty Finest Hour, the port that the uh, Xbox and PlayStation 2 got. I guess that the uh, those consoles couldn't run this one. E either that or uh, Infinity War just didn't want to port it over. But either way, I was going to do a How Bad Is It of that game. From what I remember, what I'm playing now, this game's worse. I mean, this is just bad.
64 rounds. There's some ammo. I was hoping there was some health over here, but nope. Of course they're behind me. Of oh, fucking course they are. So as soon as you walk through the doors, you get goddamn mauled. Fucking game. Is there any health around anywhere? Better than nothing. Oop, they didn't all respawn in here. I might have to get the MP40. Those are Lubers. Too much ammo. I have way too much ammo. Led by no one ever. the checkpoints here. I think that might be the only good checkpoint I've ever had. This game. these Germans wearing t-shirts? We're installing, well no, we're in Poland now, but still, I don't believe it's much warmer in winter. Probably doesn't get to, uh, what was it in Stalingrad? Negative 40? Believe at certain times there got down to negative seventy, close well, to it. Good, that's good, good for you. We must get out of here quickly before the artillery starts again. Battle of Kursk. There were two major turning points in World War II. One of them was German defeat at Stalingrad. The other was the Battle of Kursk. The largest tank engagement, armored vehicle engagement that the world's ever seen. Is it going to be a tank level? Yes, it is. I 
and it plays just like the tank level in uh, Call of Duty 2. I wonder if the machine gun auto fires on enemies like it does in that game. And this is a T-3485. Enemy tanks across the street! Supposedly a slightly more up-armored version with a much, much better gun. How do you like that, Franz? Good shooting! Oh, I can run over trees? Good. Fuck you, nature. Yep. That stayed the same from Call of Duty 1 to Call of Duty 2. Oh, Germans. One down, more to come. How do you like that, Franz? One down, more to come. Hurry up, get moving. Good shooting. You can hire Hitler in hell! The Episport Battlefield, every single one of those troopers would be an assault kit, carrying like five Panzer Shreks, five Panzer Fouts. As soon as anyone sees an armored vehicle, they all switch to uh, the anti-tank kit. Panzer tank! How you like that, Franz? Good shooting! You see the Germans crawling out of their flaming tanks. I understand the T-34s were not easy to get out of once they took a hit and caught fire. More often than not, I read that the crew members died, whereas other tanks like the American Sherman were designed much better so that the crew could get out in case of a fire really quickly. Keep them coming! That's Hurry up, get moving! Good shooting! Good shooting! Got some pretty good gun depression on the turret there. Can't hit it. There we go. My leg! Oh, somebody help! You can hide Hitler in hell! How you like that, Franz? Is 
that tank was AFK. Alright, that's the end of that one.